These things are the most interesting, most useful, or craziest things I found on Boat 2023, Europe's biggest scuba diving trade show. After three long COVID years this year, 2023, there was again another boat show. It takes place in Düsseldorf in Germany at its world's biggest water sports trade show, the biggest scuba diving show in Europe and the second biggest scuba diving show worldwide. And of course, I went there to watch out for the most useful or interesting or crazy pieces of equipment. Unfortunately, you might still hear it in my voice. I got so ill after the first four days, I couldn't come back for the rest of the time. But still, I found some very interesting things. And of course, I had a great time with all the new friends. The first thing I did was giving a talk on the main stage about this Kappa project. The ones of you now interested, it's exactly what I made my first video on this channel about. After coming back from the main stage, I came across a very big and luxurious RV that was made specifically for diving and I was able to get inside and talk to the guy whose idea that was. It's basically meant to be a dive center on wheels. So you can, for instance, rent it as a dive center to take your guests to land-based dive sites, for instance. It's equipped with a large sleeping room for two people a shower, a toilet, a kitchen, uh, and in the back there's a rack to, uh, to store dive equipment and it can be even equipped with a compressor. So they plan to rent that thing out, but you can even buy it if you have the necessary 450,000 euros left over. Really, a nice concept and I would love to teach my classes in the future from this awesome RV. But I guess even with GUE pricing, this will be on a day in the very, very far future. So walking further, I come across a guy with, yeah, just watch it yourself. So, well, uh, yeah, I came across this uh, this booth here, and it says Blue Three, and I was just asking, okay, what is so what is it actually? What is yeah. Blue Three? So, battery powered diving is here, and you may ask, what's battery powered about it? Well, it's a compressor, and so it's actually floating on the surface, and you tow it behind you. Now, as you breathe, 
it draws air from the surface and pumps it down to the diver. And so it's running on a battery and it runs for about it's, one it's hour. It's so small. Yeah. So not only the battery, the whole device is like, it's like really small. Uh, just a second. So the whole device is, it's like really so small. It's so everything just fits, fits there. Uh, just fits in a, in, a, in a tiny box. So it's great to keep on the boat in case you wanted to clean the bottom of your boat. You can also travel with it. You can bring it on the airplane. The batteries are under the limit. Oh, so okay. it really opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, great for people who want to travel to shallow water destinations and dive from the beach or uh, keep it on your boat. So how deep can you go with it? Uh, this one goes to nine meters. We have a smaller yeah. unit that goes to three meters. Um, but the Nomad is, is really popular in the boating community and for Yeah, I think in the boating community diving. because it's, yeah, okay. Also, a lot of people like to use it uh, for metal detecting underwater, okay, finding yeah, lost rings and things like that off of the beach. So, okay. yeah. so, so how do I prevent people from just swimming and unplugging the battery or just? Um, yeah, so it's floating in the water. Um, you know, you have a dive flag connected to the snorkel yeah. tube, so it's floating on top of the waves. Um, you know, you, uh, there's, uh, you know, people won't typically mess with it. <laughs> uh, we, I've never had anybody unplug my battery. You know, if you're diving to nine meters, you do want a spare air bottle so you can swap over in case it, uh, something happens. But you do get a low battery alert. With about five to ten minutes remaining, you'll get a pulsation in the reg. To do, you, do you really recognize it if you're it, really? It's very recognizable. So compared to the unit, it's like in the old days where the where the dive tanks had this this reserve, uh, and you had to pull the reserve. Like in the rev, very old days, like oh, in the okay. 80s. Yeah, <laughs> I've never used one of those. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you you really notice it. It gets more noticeable as the battery gets lower. It's plenty of time to make your ascent. Uh, and if you're only nine meters, you can just swim up basically. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Are you not not uh, speaking of decompression times or something like that? On nine, nine meters, so, it's, it's, yeah. it's not a deal. At nine Actually. meters, uh, with the battery runtime only of an hour, we're not too worried about decompression stops. But obviously, preventing lung over expansion injury is very uh, crucial. So we have a full online training course that teaches divers okay. how to use the product, primarily never to hold your breath. Um, that is the main thing. But the online training course teaches everybody everything from like basics of diving, what is a snorkel, yeah. to uh, video tutorials on how to clear your regulator in case it comes out of your mouth and how to get weighted properly, all of this so sort of thing. It's more like an extended snorkel, like you can really snorkel really deep, something like that. Yeah, but you yeah. need to take it more seriously. Sure, um, sure. You know, you're, you're breathing compressed air. Right? Yeah. You're breathing compressed air. Um, so we're also opening up demo locations around the world. Uh -huh. That's one of our key missions for 2023 is to offer more demo locations where people can come out and go with a guide and learn yeah. how to use the product. Okay. So. Uh, how much do I have to pay for it? Uh, the Nomad, the nine meter model is 2,000 US dollars. The smaller unit for three meters is 1,300. Okay. And then spare batteries, most people order with a spare battery. Uh, so it's an extra 350 for the Nomad. Yeah. And each battery gives you about an hour of runtime and recharges in three hours. Yeah, very interesting concept. Very interesting yeah. concept right? It goes a little bit against what we, in, in GOE, we think about, about right. diving because we're going really deep or <laughs> inside caves, stuff like that. But still, I think for boat owners, just cleaning the boat. Yeah, or, it's, it's great for the boat. Our, our bigger mission as a company is really to introduce new people to the underwater world. But we also see a lot of former scuba divers gravitating towards it as a more convenient way to get in the water. So we're seeing a lot of scuba divers who are finding a new way to get in the water and it's reinvigorate like getting their passion back for diving thank you very much all right thank you well how can i sum up uh interesting concept especially interesting to see how small a working compressor can be built still i don't like the idea of online courses only of sending people to scuba diving without a proper class Okay, sure, and now they target boat owners who just clean underneath their boats. But still, you could go to nine meters with that thing, and I don't think one should do that without training. Now, coming to real dive gear. In case you haven't already heard this, Halcyon released a new wing, and I had the opportunity to chat about it with Halcyon's marketing manager. 
so very well. I'm at the Halcyon stand now, and I um, saw that Halcyon has a new wing design, uh, the Halcyon Legend, and yeah, so. Uh, what's it all about? First of all, let me clear this up really quickly that this wing is not for CCR. This was designed for yeah, It looks a little circuit. bit like, like the CCR one. Everyone comes yeah. up and says, oh, this is the JJ wing. No, it is not. And I stop them in their tracks and no, this is open circuit wing. And everyone's baffled as to cutouts. That's, their eye goes immediately to here, but that's okay. not really how I like to start the story. Okay, so how do you like to start the story? All right, let's start the story. It might go way back in uh, why I found Halcyon gear in the first place, and I'll go ahead and add that I took my GUE Fundamentals class with this. Which is um, a good thing. <laughs> because I was already a technical diver, and you know, I really struggled being top heavy, right? So I'm diving with a group many, of guys. Many people have this, many people have right. this. Right, yeah. but the group of guys I'm diving with seem to not have the problem. And we're barreling forward, going up to the next level, and you know, now everyone's going to Trimix, and I said, I can't clip another bottle on me, because I'm just, <laughs> They're like, well, you look fine. Well, I don't feel fine. I am fighting. Yeah. My lower back is on fire just to stay, you know, to look good and be in trim positioning. So um, that was part of what drove me to take fundamentals in the first place, which, again, it does take skill set and going over the refinement with my instructor with doing things like loosening the straps yeah. and making the tanks lower. But also, I had, um, you know, from my group of divers, you know, a lot of times they hand you down equipment, especially, you know, this sport doesn't get any cheaper. No, so it's they not. try to help you out, they're doing you a solid favor by, oh, use this wing, use this back plate, and so forth. So there I go into fundies. And while we are correcting some things, I'm definitely fighting a wing. I actually had Many a wing. people are doing actually, A wing yes. that was opposite the wing that shall not be named, but let's just say that I had no lift at the top and all the lift at the bottom. So yeah. if I'm already top heavy and I put any gas, it's literally just making it worse. It's exacerbating the problem. At which point I was introduced to the Halcyon brand. So I get an Evolve wing and wow. You know, so yeah, which is I, the classic design. Great. Has and has, like, great. I, I own myself one or two, and uh, they have it for like 20 and, years. And from yeah. there, it definitely improved, as well as building on the skill set to get there. And so yeah. for what two years now, love of all the wing. That's what I dive, um, and then we started this wing because yeah. of a current theme that maybe. Uh, you or some of you out there don't know what I'm talking about with top heaviness, because maybe it is something with different body types. Why yeah, is it many, one many, thing fit all? Yeah, many, many people have it. So I, I see oh. in the classes many people have it, the, the top heaviness. Yeah. So, and back in R&D with Halcyon, you know, they're hearing this recurring thing, and yes again, um, I now find balance, sure. Yeah. But I tried the Halcyon wing, and literally, my first dive was just, wow. I didn't realize, I guess, with time and skill, all the little intricate yeah. things that I've learned to do with balance and so forth, that, you know, I'm good, great with the evolved wing, but this just felt immediately I, that I didn't have, I don't want to say it's an easy tool, but it did really yeah. instantly give the lift in the right places where I needed. So what's the difference to the old Evolve uh, Well, it is the shape, style. okay? So what we did is redesign the actual shape. I have a photo uh, on the social media, if you look there, with a comparison of the okay. Legend and Evolve side by side, and you will see a noticeable difference in shape. So first of all, you will see that what we did is we widened yeah, because we know we need to get wide, the lift yeah. at the top, right? But what happens here, right? If you inflate your wing, is, you know, you all know the feeling of the wing and uh, pushing against your head here. So we actually reduced that up top here, but we brought it, the lift out to the sides again. Um, so now what happens? We also widen the wing, and this really does help promote horizontal trim position. It just folds up, hugs the cylinders, and lifts them evenly down their whole sides. But what has always happened with a widened wing system is 
the SPG hose, your dry suit hose, trapping, you know, in an inflated wing, yeah. trapping this gas Like in here. the JJ wing, it's so, so wide, it's, it's trapping it, yeah. So, this is where the fun cutouts come to open circuit. In that, now, we route our SPG hose and dry suit hose right through here, so now we're no longer pinching ah, the top okay. of the wing. So it's not cutting here? Yes, now Perfect. you get the full benefit of the wing working with you. And uh, this was kind of interesting here, is replacing the grommets here with this mesh material, this thick mesh material, so the water drains out really quickly from oh, okay. between the fabric cool. and, and the bottom. So what these are are little itty bitty upgrades, and the reason I say this is also... So can I see, can I, can I see the, the position of the... Mm -hmm. Okay, this is now right in the middle, right? Correct, which is why we no longer need that loop to hold uh, yeah, the corrugated right. hose this in place. This is what, place. I, what, I, what I saw, yeah, it's right in the middle. And it's the optimal position if it's in the middle, right? Correct. Yeah, perfect. And so little bells and whistles. So to, to answer something that I'm already hearing, um, well, is this supposed to replace the evolved wing? Is the evolved wing no more? Absolutely not. This is yeah, just a, great a little design. more upgraded with a little more uh, features um, with the also the embroidery uh, on yeah. them. Oh, yes. And yeah, sure. it looks you, really you sharp. You have the, the rubber ones on the other one, Correct. Right? Yeah, Correct. okay. And you know, you have color choices, but this was just something new. We just wanted to offer uh, even higher end um, with bells and whistles. And again, for those with, who might still struggle with that top heaviness. Um, yeah. Perfect. It, it definitely, you try this one time, you will feel the lift on dive one. I will for sure try it, I will for sure try it. Yeah. I re really would like to, and really make a thorough review of it. Well, now we can, in that we got our CE yeah. approval. So finally, okay. uh, we come to market, even though... So it was um, released, like you said, yesterday, or... or uh, yeah, basically now. It's basically correct. It released and, now. Right. It's well, brand we, new. we had our approval, you know, a week or so ago, but yeah. we figured what a great time at the show. Um, the conception is, because we did talk about it at DEMA, but we decided to, we didn't offer it in the United States. We held yeah. out for everyone because we just wanted to make sure the CE was done and it comes to okay. market for everyone at once. So, so. when will it be? So uh, when order is it? today. Order today. Well, you want to take it home? Yeah, I take it home. Actually, I take no, it home. This, Give it to me. <laughs> I think this one's Imad, so you can't have oh, it. Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, I'll buy, but I need another one. I really would like to try it out. And you can get tie dye and you could get, well, to bring it to market, we're actually going to be aggressive with this. So we are pricing for a limited time, uh, I believe it's till March 31st, you can get a fully custom legend wing, colors, you have four embroidery choices for your logos, as well as text embroidery down the sides for the same price as a traditional Evolve wing. Okay. So no good. custom fees, you get embroidery because, you know, what better way to take it to market than give aggressive sure. with an incentive program to try it? We want to put them in your hands. We want to put them in instructors' hands uh, so they can get a feel. And again, it's another tool for your students, again, um, struggling with certain sure. top-heavy problems. And I see problems. that in so many students, and maybe this might be a solution for... It's another tool. Yeah, it's another it's, tool. So. so it doesn't really uh, replace the the skill set students have, but still it might make your life easier, especially Again. with the house roading, all that stuff. Right, yeah. right. A, a tool that works with you better. Again, there's no substitution. There, I know there's no such thing as gil, uh, yeah, gear solves no, your no, problems. No, no, it's no not. way, it's not. you gotta work still, for that. We're still at the GOE stand, <laughs> you see? <laughs> but yeah, but, it, but, but you can make your life a little bit easier, maybe. Yeah. Correct, and, and, and we like can us. talk <laughs> about, for example, uh, what I wanna say to this is, the back plate. Yeah. There was the standard size for yeah. everyone, but we have seen, you have all seen, you've put your students in the small plate because yeah, sure. there is not one sure. size Sure, sometimes for all. people are shorter or, sure. yeah. And so that Perfect. goes to a wing concept as well, that a wing with different lift, you know, uh, what do I say that? Yeah, there I go. A, a different uh, air gas distribution. Sure, there's yeah. different cylinder My, sizes, yeah. there's different sure. heights. So having another tool, it's a win-win for us at Halcyon. So thank you very much. Hope you like I really it. like it. Yeah, thank you very much.
After that, I had planned to do some more stories on the show about the new Terran tool, for instance, which is a very well-crafted wet note tool. And I made a review about it, uh, about the former version or the actual version. Uh, the new one is coming out uh, in, in a couple of days. Um, and uh, yeah, I, w I was about to make a story about that, which I apparently couldn't. I'm going to do these videos as separate ones and I'm up to a complete review about the new Halcyon Legend Wing so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and don't miss these videos.